Hey guys, Larry from the Oregon Coast. It's January 2nd, Happy New Year. And uh, this is part two of my beginner's hydro project. This is a little project I started this last summer. And uh, it's an early jalapeno plant. And uh, usually these things get about two feet tall. So he's about 18 inches. But anyways, this guy was the little runt of the ceilings that I started this last spring. And uh, I brought him indoors about a month, month and a half ago and uh, so far it's doing really really good indoors and all I'm using there to the left is a little 13 watt uh, uh, compact fluorescent bulb, I'm actually using two of those. So if you want to do this project all you need is a little, uh, all I used was a little leftover plastic uh, coffee can, a Folgers coffee can and they're right to the left, I'm going to zoom in, zoom in here for a second. That's it, just a little 13 watt compact fluorescent. Use two of those. And a little 3 watt um, aquarium air pump. And just a little air stone there. And, uh, that does the trick. Hey, I was talking earlier about the um, two 13 watt uh, CFLs. Basically, all I do is I, uh, I run them for 16 hours on a timer. And that seems to be uh, working really good. Originally, I just had them at 10 hours. I was just trying to keep the plant alive. Now I, uh, I boosted up and just trying to see see if I can get a little harvest off this guy. But uh, basically, my goal originally was just trying to keep them alive till uh, till spring. But so far, uh, really impressed. Real impressed. And for the nutrient, I'm using uh, Fox Farms Big Grow. It's a uh, three two six, and uh. I just put a cap full in with water and I'm going to show you the water depth on it in a second. Check out those roots, huh? Little Rocky's doing pretty good. Real good. Got a couple little jalapenos ready to pick and going to see if they're hot or not. So I might give them a little te taste test here. Alright, this is about a three week cycle I have going on with the, without a water change. And I just bring the water about two inches there from the bottom. Just uh, barely enough for the bottom roots to touch. And you can see I got little uh, little friends there. Uh, I dumped some of these uh, red wigglers in uh, my uh, aquaponics uh, bed, and uh, I think these guys escaped and got in here. But <laughs> they've been living in here for uh, living indoors for a couple months and still alive. But every once in a while they'll crawl up in their roots and chow down, and you actually can kind of see their worm castings there. And that's pretty cool. Now I just take a whole um, a hole saw, three and five eighths hole saw, and I just blasted right through the lid there. Or not blasted, but cut a hole through the lid, and I just use a standard uh, three-inch uh, net cup that you can get at your local uh, hydro store, and uh, just a little bit of hydro tin. What's nice about this net cup is like a uh, if you bring it indoors, you can use a smaller container, and uh, in the summertime, if you want, you can move it, move it, and put it into a two two-gallon bucket or a five-gallon bucket, and uh, it's really easy to move. Yeah, I just cut a little notch here for the. Airline to go through, and that seemed to be working pretty good. And I'm just using regular, uh, this regular tap water. Tap water, cap full of that uh, hydrophonic nutrient, and uh, a little air. And uh, bam, that's it, really simple. No. Alright, let's see how hot this thing is. So, take a little bite. Good. It's got some kick. It, woo, yeah. So, uh, so far so good. Um, I ended up cutting some of the flowers off um, about a month ago. The aphids were just uh, really infested and I thought that might slow it down but um, it's starting to flower again. Let's take a uh, close up of the flowers. And bam! This is a super easy simple project. Um, basically I just change the water out about every two weeks, three weeks if I forget sometimes and just a little bit of a nutrient. And anybody can do this. All right, so do do a little cost uh, estimate here. Um, I think I paid about 15 bucks for the pump. And I think you can pick up these uh, light bulbs for about four bucks a piece. So, coffee can free net cup was like a dollar, dollar twenty five. Nutrient about twenty bucks. Uh, hydrogen, I got uh, bought a big bag of hydrogen, so that wasn't too big of a deal. I think it's like uh, ten bucks for a uh, five pound bag. So if you guys have any uh, comments or uh, suggestions, uh, just drop a line down below and uh, have a good one. Hey.